What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. Uh, yesterday we did some ranked, now we're going to play some Judgment today. First thing I want to show you guys, I finally got my ESL head. Um, so I'll just show you guys that. Let's see. ESL head. See, so yeah, I remember I bought all these new heads uh, in the store on that day. Waypoints came out. I went crazy over here, bought all this stuff. And um, so now, if you didn't know, on some of the ESL tournaments, certain ones, Mojang awards the ESL head for like the winners. So I finally have one of these, and it's pretty cool. So I'll be wearing this now. I don't have the top ten on the ladder head for the last uh, ranked season rewards yet. I'll be getting that soon, but it's gonna have to look pretty cool to uh, trump this one because this looks awesome. Unfortunately, it looks a little like it different from the other like other parts of the. Uh, Avatar, so it's hard to get a matching body and stuff. So I don't know. Let's see what we can do. That looks pretty cool. Maybe that. Sure, I'm going with that. Also, there is a girl version of the head. So if you see people with this head, there's not many people. Wait, where the heck is the girl version of the head? There it is. I was right behind the first one, I think. So if you see people with uh, this head, that means they performed well in some kind of ESL tournament. And also, speaking of heads, I know Atmaz uh, has a new head now, because he's a community manager, he gets the Mojang symbol, and look at the head he has. It's like a little squished head, that, that's uh, one of the exclusive heads. Uh, I, I've never seen it before before today, I just saw Atmaz has it. I'm not sure if, uh, I think that maybe both of the community managers have that, him and see me scrolling, I'm not sure. And then of course, if you didn't know, the moderators, like Blinky for example, have the moderator head. Um, so there's all these exclusive heads which is pretty darn cool. And I think Carnalizer has a special head. But I don't think he's online now so we can't really check. I haven't seen it. I heard somebody say about his name about the in general three. No, he's not, okay. But we're gonna do Dushin today. Um and let's see what we can do. We have a pretty good pretty good stuff here because Terrain Brute is solid and then Quake is good and so is Earth Mercury but a Forge is probably we're going to want to go here go for here basically even if I don't have I'm not an energy if I'm not in an energy deck only this is a nice like splash in because then I could only use energy to pump it but I will take the Terrain Brute right here and now I will take the Forge here um have some uh, champion ring and flip yeah that's not it's not bad. I'll take the Earthborn Keeper instead of the Sister of the Fox. I need like strongest creatures in Judgment. Um, maybe... I'm not sure what I want to do here. I guess I'll just take a Summons. Not, not having the best draws here. Maybe... Champion Ring. I'll just take the Champion Ring now. I don't really want to go Order. Let's see. I guess Replicaton is the best of these. How about Boom Reaver? So it looks like we're in energy the most. Um, I will grab a Snargle Brain. We have some growth here, so I don't know. We might be going for growth. We have a growth and energy are fighting each other, and we have Forge, Replicaton, and maybe a, and maybe a Boom Reaver. Or we could have a Terrain Brute, Earthborn Keeper, Berserker, maybe Noadi, Frostbeard. So I'll take the creature of the Frostbeard because I might be in growth. And here's more energy stuff. Maybe I'll just have growth and energy in the deck. I don't know. And I will take Noadi for this reason because Noadi is good for like splashing other stuff. So I'll go with the Noadi because of the Replenish. Um, and this, another growth and energy. But uh, what Lineager is much better. Also, Glocking Brew is pretty bad in Judgment because there's so many things that could destroy him. Because a lot of times in Judgment you run like lesser enchantments and it's just perfect for destroying him. And we'll take the Replicaton because uh, it's really. It's, it, it keep going back to my hand. And I snorkel down here. I'll take the Wetland Ranger. Ancestral Pact or Mortar. Ancestral Pact is not amazing anymore. Mortar is a huge huge 
like wall, so I'll grab that. I think we might be actually in a snorkel here. I think we might actually be in like a dual dual color deck here. I haven't had a dual color deck in a long time. I, I seem to go more mono. Uh, another Nawadi, that's gonna help. Now, Replicaton or Rekindled Spirit. I think I'll go with the Replicaton just to have more creatures, but I do have a lot of energy three drops. Power, tr uh, Kinvolk Ranger over the Rekindled Spirit here. Um, power Trip, maybe it will get me some good. There's a Ethereum and an Owl here. I'll take the Ventral Letter here over the Grey Blocker Raider. Because I don't have any other. I don't really have ways of buffing the Raider's attack besides, like, Snarkle Brain. So I'll grab the uh, Vetter. Ether Pump. I think we're actually in both colors. Yeah, we're like split down the middle. We have more growth creatures. Um, so for that reason, I think I'll take the Wetland Ranger. And then a Samada Shift. Eh, Samada Shift's good for decks that have like stronger creatures. So for that reason, I'll just take the Vetter of the Wild. And then I will grab... How many creatures do we have? We have a lot of creatures. Actually, no, we, we, have, we have a lot of creatures so far, actually. It is true. I'll take uh, the champion ring. We have a lot of creatures now. We can start taking other stuff. Underdog spike might be useful. Um, Machination mindset, I think it'd be pretty fun. So I'll grab that. Now, Crimson Bull, Gravehawker, Berserker. Here, I'll probably take Scattergun or Rumble. I'm not sure about this row. Probably in Sundries. Sorry about that. Alright. So I'll grab the uh, Berserker here, then Incendiaries, now Rumble or Scattergunner. Ooh, there's a Witch Doctor. Decay wouldn't have been a bad thing to go here either, with Trisman, which I saw some Rod Eaters before. Also Order, there's a good Order stuff, but I think Growth and Energy really shadowed at us the most. Um, I'll go for the Rumble. I think we have a lot of creatures, especially three drops, so it's time to get more like complimentary scrolls. Grab a Rumble. Here, I don't know, I'll just take a Pillar Disease. I'm not gonna use it. A Nog. Gun Automaton. Yeah, it's pretty good or stuff. I'll take a Ragged Wolf. Dust Runner. Vicious Striker Wild Ranger. I think the Triple Wetland Ranger is definitely a nice threat. Uh, Grave Lock Guard. Fodder Pit. What do I have that has Pillage? Grave Lock Guard has Pillage. Um. I don't think I have anything else that has pillage. Oh, he is, yeah. Well, and Ranger has pillage. That's actually not bad. So, I have so many well and Rangers. Yeah, I think the Fodder Pit is actually going to be useful. I've never seen it been used well. Um, Dark Strike gives me Decay, which. I don't really, but it's still removal. It's not bad. Frost Scale, I think, is going to be safer to go with, though. I don't know. Just stay in color. I'll take that, but I'm not going to use it. How many creatures do I have? Have a lot of creatures we don't need more creatures so i'm not going to take the outcast circle instead i'll take the crimson bull over the clandestine orchard uh blast strike can be kind of cool and gimmicky rat king like i said a lot of we have a lot of creatures so may as well get more countdown reduction and a brother of the wolf to finish it off so i think this is a decent deck a little bit more growth let's see what we want i think we want both champions especially with all the one countdown units we have I'm gonna start putting down, putting in the deck most of the stuff. Why can't I put that in? Go in. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'll put in the stuff that will probably go in the deck. I like the Noadis a lot. Uh, Underdog Spite would only really make. I mean, it could like haste a button Rager and stuff. But who cares about that really? Haste like. Yeah. All right. So. What do we have? What's our curve here? Sixteen creatures in growth. We have. One, two, three, two, three, two drops. Um, one, two. We have a good amount of three drops and a, and a lot of four drops and a couple of five drops. So that's pretty good curve for growth. And then we have nice complementary swirls in energy. So yeah, I think I'm going to have the creatures more in growth and then I'll have a lot of complementary swirls in energy. Uh, so let's see. Let's start from the bottom. I think we want. Now, Snuggle Brain, I don't think I'm going to have 6 energy or more unless I have Power Tripping, so I'm not going to grab that. Blast Strike can be pretty fun. I'm going to grab Blast Strike. Fodder Pit, yes. With these Wetland Rangers, that could uh, come in handy. Machination Mindset is a fun scroll. 
Um, I'm not going to grab the Pierce Mortal because I don't have any range units yet. Definitely the Forge. I can get a lot of stuff. Fury, I think, is uh, going to be useful. Maybe... I might not even go to the energy. I might just use my uh, Nawadis to get there. Replicatons. Is it even... I have 16 creatures. We don't really need more creatures. More creatures might be pushing it. I don't think I want to go to 4 energy. Because right now I can... Actually... If I go to... 1, I can go to 2... And three. Let's just stick a mortar in here for a nice protection if I need it. Um, I don't think I need the power trap. Maybe incendiary is some nice removal. It's incendiaries or replicaton here. Why not both? Or actually, no. We don't need both. We'll take the ethanol. Okay, so this is like a, a growth energy deck. Let's see how it does. Growth energy. G E. Okay, and let's hope I can find a match pretty quickly, and works out pretty well. You usually find matches pretty quickly in your first one, because it tries to match you with people that have a similar record, and 0-0 zero, zero is a pretty common record in judgment. So good luck, have fun to ACXY. First match I'm showing off this head, and yeah, it looks so much different from the rest of the body, the art style, but it's pretty awesome nonetheless. Um, I will keep the starting hand. I got rid of the Ether Pump, because it doesn't look like I'll be playing that. I can go Nog and Serene Brute, or Frostbeard. Probably sacrifice the frost gun slot unless I see like a double better coming out soon. Energy. Okay, so yeah, frost gun probably won't be needed because we're probably gonna be a little bit more aggressive. So let's get down the nog. A nice two three. He looks like he shouldn't have three health. He's so small. Or to attack. But he's pretty cool. And there is a copper automaton, so we might have to make the two to one trade, unfortunately. I think we will go with the two to one trade, so he's like He's just trying a two health, two cost creature with his one cost creature. But oh well, I could go for like, like just protect it with a frost beard. I could do that, but I'd, I think I'd rather just let's get rid of the vetter. I think let's uh, let's just get a terrain brute down here and just let this thing die. So he's able to destroy a little bit of stuff. Unfortunately. Suck if he's like another copper automaton. But then I have a rat, uh, rat king for a meat shield for that. And a grave lock guard. So that uh, pillage attack increase on pillage units thing, I think that works for all units on the board, not just my units. So I have to be careful about that. I'll get rid of the frost beard and play a wetland. A wetland ranger. I'll move up because anyways I want to destroy this Gravelock Guard uh, BC he's still dealing damage to me when he hits idols because of his pillage effect and I can have this Serene Brute go off and attack next turn because of the Rat King will spawn enough units for it to attack so moves down probably has like a protection here proximity charge is pretty darn good protection and that spawns in the middle so I'm gonna have to move down um it's it's pretty annoying actually now is where I want to get the rumbles. Not not this turn, but I want to sacrifice for a rumble. And I'm going to get rid of the Rat King. The Rat Kings would be good like things to destroy the proximity charges, but I want to have like stronger stuff. And I'm not going to just give up this guy. All right, so all my things are attacking next turn with a little extra attack. So let's see. Let's see if ACX wants to move down and deal damage to this thing, but then likely this Greylock Guard would die. So if I can draw a rumble next turn, that would be perfect. Actually, did I sacrifice a rumble already at the very beginning? I don't think so. Gun auto. And a ripper. Okay, so he's getting units down, and I really would rather not lose all these guys. Lose at least one of them to proximity charge, so I think I'm just going to take out this idol. I have a Ragged Wolf in the deck, that'd be good to grab. Let's just sacrifice for scrolls, I know I can play a Berserker this turn, but I want to see if I can just top deck something that's more useful. Rumble! Yeah, I guess we just Rumble. Okay. So, at least that helps us a good amount. 
and let's still attack the idol with both wetland rangers here and still unfortunately this thing is going to be a bit of a problem that proximity charge I want to get a ragged wolf or something. Okay, so we did not notice he sacrificed for decay last turn. It's good to note that. Snaru. Because that's a pretty strong creature if I don't take care of it. I have a double Noadi, so I'm going to keep that because I can. I can get into some energy then. And this turn, I'm just going to go for, I'm going to sacrifice the champion ring and just play a berserker and destroy this idol. Because, I think I'll save the double noadis. This this might not be too smart that I'm, that I am uh, going so far into growth. Because then, like, I need to get like wild for the energy, so I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Whatever. So let's see. Hopefully the Gravelock's Pillage effect or the Gravelock just attacks this Berserker because he'll just heal up and also get higher attack. And if I don't draw a Ragged Wolf for something to destroy this, I will likely just lose one of my well and Rangers. It would be unfortunate, but I have to just Let's move up there. I don't want him to just easily take the middle row of the board. And with a strong creature like that Snargle up there, I have to be a little bit cautious. Destroyer there. Okay, now come on. Hit this guy. Yes, now you have seven Zach. Yes, there's a Ride Wolf. That's that's uh pretty good. Um this destroyer here is not a huge deal. I mean it is pretty annoying actually. Yeah, it's pretty darn annoying. But I will sacrifice no idea. I think I need the Ragged Wolf to destroy this thing. And Crimson Bolt could be good for next turn. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I need a Ragged Wolf to go here, and then I'm going to move both of these guys up. So let's do that. And I have to move this thing up. Now, I don't want to have this thing in the direct line of fire from this. I don't want it to die from the Snuggle either. Oh, this is this is a little tough. Let's get you out of the way. Put you down. And do I just give up the snargle? No, I don't. I think I'm. Yeah, I can actually make the snargle attack. At least destroy one of these guys. No, but then the sh the destroyer just destroys the other thing. Oh boy. Um, how about we just let the snargle attack? At least once before it dies, and I don't mind putting the noadi up here. Because um, I don't mind if the Snarl goes and kills it, because that means the Snarl is not killing this Turin Brute. And the Destroyer, luckily, is not attacking any of my spaces. <sighs> and he's still only at 4 energy, so he can't really do much to us. I mean, if he has like a Blind Rage, that would hurt a lot, because this Turin Brute is at 5 counts, and I'd rather destroy both of these. A Blind Rage would really tip the tables. Um, Myra Shambler and. Moves down to destroy the brute. Okay, just attacked. And a charge coil. Okay. So I won't be able to destroy this destroyer. Oh boy, fodder pit is not bad. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I could just crimson bull anyways. Let's get rid of the even though I have two well energy, I don't think we have enough resources to really energy resources to go into that stuff. Do I just go? I think I go with a. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. This is this is tough. This destroyer is really a pain. Okay, I'll go with a Wallen Ranger instead of a Berserker because I like the... Actually, I'll go with the Berserker because it could heal itself. So I will go ahead 
and do all that. Okay, there we are. So we are getting hit by that destroyer a bit. And she's taking the middle row, which is unfortunate for us. Oh well. Next turn, arc. And I don't have any more Noadis, which is unfortunate. That would really be nice to really get up to a Fury to play. Let's see, how do I want to do this? And actually, a Crimson Bull, since none of these guys hit an idol, a Crimson Bull doesn't even... Oh, but that's, that's a little tough to deal with. Oh, right, so that, he, he goes ahead and destroys this. Luckily, the Charge Call doesn't do anything to us. Besides hit something. Ooh, Incendiaries. I forgot I had that in the deck. I think that's pretty good. Incendiaries, yeah. Now, a Crimson... I can't play Incendiaries right now. A Crimson Bull... What does a Crimson Bull do here? Not a ton, actually. I can't even destroy... Yeah, it does not do a lot. Let's see. Let's sacrifice Fury, see what I get. Champion Ring. Now, Champion Ring Crimson Bull does destroy the Snargle, so I will do that. Crimson Bull also destroys the Charge Coil, which is cool. And Champion Ring on this, and I will try my best to stay out of the range of that destroyer. So that was pretty good, uh, draw of the champion room. Now, we're pretty far ahead because we have actually a little bit more of the board control, I think, and we have a uh, card advantage. And we've got the same amount of resources as our opponent. So I'm surprised I didn't go as much into energy because I did have like almost 10 cards in this deck were energy scrolls. But I think I got a pretty good growth curve, so it didn't really affect me too much. And plays cheap creatures. Those won't be much of a threat to me, but they will block this destroyer, which I won't be able to really deal with. Let's uh, chase start going for a flash strike. Flash strike can destroy this Oxoni charge kind of well. Let's go ahead and sacrifice for some energy. Start to get some stuff going. I'll let you go in the front here. I mean, it could die to this Ripper, but if that happens, and I'll put the thing with the three attack there. And I'll put the ranger in front here. So the ripper can actually kill this berserk oh well. Oh well. And had nowhere to put that other this guy. This ranger. Maybe I should have kept the incendiaries because I've seen him play a lot of structures. And some more so yeah, I probably should have kept the incendiaries. Okay, maybe I can sneak in a win by Destroying stuff up near this top idol up here. I don't know. Okay, so that takes him out. Now, I have to destroy the proximity charge. So let's get rid of the blast strike. I mean, let's use the blast strike to destroy it. How do I want to do it? This thing is still here, so... Let's just let's just do that then. Blast strike and move you up. Maybe I can have some more room to move around. And um, I'll stick a brother of the wolf up here. Yeah, it'd be useful as the game goes on. And these destroyers really limit my movement. Okay, so there goes that proximity charge. And his deck's recycling now though, so hopefully he doesn't draw the other uh, another one too soon. And this idol is down to 7 health. So if he does not pay attention up there, I can start doing some things up there. Blade Husk. And this guy hit an idol, so all these guys have higher attack. And more weenies on the board. 
Let's see, let's sacrifice the forge. Maka Nation mindset. That is That's just perfect. That is just perfect. Um Yeah. That is really just perfect. Let's see, how do I want to do it? I could put it on either of these guys and clear this row. Um one, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately I don't think there's a way for me to do it and I would hit an idol too. Should I put on the guy in the more attack or the more health? I'll put on the guy in more attack. I'll try to be greedy. So let's do that. And I'll hit the idol again. And I'll put a Vengeful Vetter up here for some protection. I'll let the Siege Cracker deal damage to that idol. So Machination Mindset really came in handy there. Oh, 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 and uh, I didn't even notice the... I forgot about the Blast Strike. I didn't know how I've had a, I'd have a Wetland Angel with Champion Ring, Blast Strike, and all that stuff. And that will be the game. He sees the writing on the wall. So that was a pretty uh, strong Wetland Ranger. Champion Ring, Blast Strike, and Machination Mindset. Pretty fun deck I have going here. Hope I can get another 5 wins. And um, that'll be that. So... Thank you all for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and stay tuned for top plays of the week. Uh, make sure you keep submitting your plays, but if you submit your play like close to the day top plays of the week comes out, then it probably won't be in that episode, it'll have to be saved for like another one. So yeah, just mentioning that. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.